Welcome back. So until now, we talked about just any object. Electrons can be transferred from an object and onto an object, and that is how an object gets a charge. There are two types, well, crudely speaking, two types of materials in this world. There are insulators and then there are conductors. Conductors are usually metals and they conduct electricity in terms of electrons traveling through them, onto them and off of them. So conductors have electrons that are free to move. They're easily movable. And then if there is a path for electrons to travel, they will do so. So in this case, I have in this picture two spheres. They are conductive spheres, so they have electrons that are free to move around. And one of them on the right, sphere B, has a negative charge, which means that it has extra electrons. Then when I provide a path for electrons to travel, electrons are like, like people. They like to be where it's warmer. So think about this zero is less negative than negative, neg uh, than negative 6.4 nanocoulombs. So electrons are going to start traveling and they will keep traveling until these two spheres are the same in charge. So what you're going to do, you're going to take charge A plus charge B as numbers plus minus and divide by two and that will be your final charge. So for my example, I'm going to end up with a negative 3.2 nanocoulomb. So electrons are going to stop moving as soon as the charge became negative 3.2 nanocoulombs on either one of those. So I can say negative 3.2 nanocoulomb, negative 3.2 nanocoulomb. What was the change? How many electrons traveled? So the next question is how many electrons traveled? So from which to which, obviously to sphere B because it was less negative, then how many? Well, let's look at not at the final charge, but at the change. This change from 0 to negative 3.2 nanocoulombs, so it gained electrons. How many? Well, if the change in charge is 3.2 nanocoulombs, that's what I'm going to divide by the charge of one electron. So if I do 3.2 times 10 to the negative ninth over 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th, 3.2 over 1.6 is 2, and then it's times 10 to the 10th, because negative 19 goes upstairs as a positive, and then 19 minus 9 is 10. So the answer to this question is 2 times 10 to the 10th electrons, were transferred to A from B. All right, now I'm going to go to the one on the left. Here I have a positive charge, 12.8 microcoulombs on the left and zero on the right. Now, even though this one is not negative, it's less positive than positive 12.8. Therefore, when I provide my wire and provide a path for electrons to travel, they're going to end up going this way because it's warmer, if you will. It's more positive. And when will the transfer stop? When this one will lose enough electrons to equal the charge out. So it's going to be 6. Point, uh, what is it? 6.4 microcoulombs positive on this and the same 6.4 microcoulombs on this. Again, how did I do that? I did 12.8 times 10 to the negative 6 plus 0 over 2. That gave me 6.4 times 10 to the negative 6, which is micro. So the final charge on each one of them is 6.4 micro coulomb with a plus. By how much did it change? Well, I'm going to look at this one. The change was 6.4 microcoulombs. It's the same for this one. If you find the difference between 12.8 and 6.4, it's 6.4, right? The only difference is this one gained electrons and that guy lost electrons. So I'm going to say the electrons were traveling to sphere A. They were transferred to sphere A. How many? 6.4, 10 to the negative sixth over 1.6 
10 to the negative 19. 6.4 over 1.6 is 4, so we're going to say 4, and then negative 6 plus 19, 10 to the 13th. So your answer is 4, 10 to the 13th electrons were transferred to sphere B. Now what if our initial charge is not zero anymore? Right here, for example. Let's go over there. So I'm going to look at D. I have obviously negative and positive Electrons are going to try and get away from the negative onto the positive. So they're going to be transferring to sphere B. What's the final charge? So negative 10 plus 2 is 8. Over 2 is 4, and it's negative, right? Negative 10 plus 2 is negative 8. Divided by 2 is negative 4 nanocoulombs. So this guy is going to have negative 4 nanocoulombs, and that guy is going to have negative 4 nanocoulombs. You are after how many electrons are transferred. To figure out how many electrons are transferred, you need to figure out what the change of the charge was. Not the final, but what the change was. What's the change between negative 4 and 2? Negative 6 nanocoulombs, right? What's the change between negative 4 and negative 10. That's 6 nanocoulombs. There was a positive change for this one because it lost electrons, and there was a negative change for the sphere B because that one gained electrons. But regardless, charge is conserved. Whatever sphere gained, the other one lost the same amount of electrons. They came from the one that loses electrons onto the one that gains electrons. So our electrons traveled from A to B in this case. How many? Well, if the change is 6 nanocoulombs, I'm going to take 6, 10 to the negative 9th, and I'm going to divide it by 1.6, 10 to the negative 19th. Not going to be a pretty number, but 6 divided by 1.6, cannot do that in my head. If you can, kudos to you. I got 3.75. Negative 9 plus 19 is going to be 10 to the 10th. So the final charge, I forgot to put it in, negative 4 nanocoulombs. And then how many electrons were transferred? 3.75, 10 to the 10th. And which way you're going to show. Then question C. I have two positive charges. Which one is more positive? This dude. So it's going to attract electrons more. So even though the one on the left, sphere A, is already missing electrons, but the one on the, on the right is more positive. So there is more room for electrons to come on, and they will, until 4 plus 16 over 2 is 10, until both of these are charged to positive 10 microcoulombs. 10 microcoulombs, teeny tiny charge, positive on both, so I'm going to say plus 10 microcoulombs, and which way the electrons went? They went to sphere B from sphere A. How much of a change do we encounter? 6 microcoulombs for this, it dropped, and 6 microcoulombs for this. The change for the one on the right, it gained electrons, so the change was negative. The change for the one on the left was positive because electrons left it. Now, how many electrons? You just take the absolute value, 6 times 10 to the 6th, and you divide by the charge of one electron, 1 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, and 6 over 1.6, we already figured it out, was 3.75, and 10 to the 13th will be your power, because negative 19 comes upstairs as a positive. This was a negative 6, so negative 6 plus 19 is 13. So your answer is 3.75 times 10 to the 13th electrons were transferred from A to B, because B was more positive. And that's how you solve these. So that's all you need to do for today. Practice your handling of powers and practice dividing by 10 to the negative 19th.